Got a quick battery charger review today and instead of a normal charger this is a charger for Canon cameras, their batteries and sent in via Nightcore for a review and test. The UC N1, this is a dual slot charger and it's for the DSLR cameras from Canon. They do other makes as well. I'm just looking at this one. Perhaps I'll look at some others later on. There's a list of the models it supports. That's your scratch and verification code and this takes up to two amps input there's your user guide which I will put up on screen later on and your warranty so taking this out of the box it's a very small much smaller than most chargers the side with the LCD display is for the EP6 and the E6N batteries that's for the uh, full frame cameras and some of the crop ones and the LPE8 that works with some of most of the lower end cameras from Canon so you have both of them in one now as far as the build quality goes it feels just like other Nightcore chargers I've looked at in other words solid case materials it's also fireproof and you have the cable that's built in to the charger it's also a lot smaller than a normal wall charger that you'd get with the camera size on that is around about seven centimeters so it's quite small in length and it just slots back into the body when you finish with it so not just for home use this could make quite a use useful travel charger as well and I think that's the idea with it I've got a battery here an LPE6 and that's 1800 milliamp hours in capacity so I'll be doing a little test on that later on just to see how that fares because this can count the capacity compared to the normal Canon charger that just gives you an indication of charge state with the LEDs and um, the flashing this one from Nightcore tells you a lot more information it also tests the internal resistance on the battery so you'll have an idea whether it's performing poorly high internal resistance batteries tend to drop voltage quickly under load they might not last very long in storage so running through some of my tests I will do some of that in a minute but I will tell you the display so it gives you the milliamp that is the real-time charging speed the milliamp hour is the current that's charged into the battery that's going to tell us how good the battery is and that internal resistance with the voltage and temperature as well so there's a lot of information on this uh, the most useful one is going to be the uh, milliamp hour but you do get a real-time readout of the actual charging rate as you can see on the screen here so 968 milliamps this is a flat battery that I've uh, decided to plug in to test and that will vary depending on the charge state I've moved up to around about a uh, half charge on the charger the indicator on the left just has one bar when it's charging and then that goes to all the bars when it's finished charging do bear in mind that the USB outputs do vary so to get the best speeds you'll need uh, 2 amp if you're charging 2 batteries some USB ports like uh, USB 2 will only charge at half an amp it will still charge it's obviously going to take longer so charging speeds are a bit quicker than the Canon charger and it also told me the capacity of 1410 milliamp hours and that didn't really tie up with what I was getting on the camera because it showed one green bar indicating the battery wasn't in particularly good condition my take on this is Canon are probably using a method such as the shutter count or the number of cycles that the battery has been charged in the battery chip but that doesn't tell you the quality of the battery so use the internal resistance test and the milliamp hours charged into the battery will give you a much better idea of the battery condition and you will obviously see if there's a problem with the battery so it's much more useful than the standard Canon charger downside is that cable is pretty short so it could be uh, dangling down off some devices so I would have liked to have seen a micro USB port on the case as well as that built-in cable uh, but otherwise I think it's a nice little charger and it's definitely worth considering